Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, welcome. If you're not aware already, my name is Tyler Ray, and I filmed this makeup look here for you. It's kind of a little bit of a halo-ish eye. Uh, if you'd like to see how I got this look, then just keep on watching. So because we're going to be going in with the matte, a more matte foundation, I'm going to be taking my Smashbox Primer Water just for some hydration. Now I'm going in with my Dr. Brandt Pores No More, and I'm going to be putting that in the places where I have pores, just because I like to have a barrier between my face and my foundation, or I notice my foundation will just get sunken into my pores. Now I'm going in with my L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Foundation. This is my absolute favorite foundation when I am going out somewhere and I need it to need my foundation to last all night long. This is the one I go to because it is a little bit more matte. It'll stay in place. Now for concealer, I'm going to be going in with my Tarte Shape Tape, and I'm going to be putting that in the regular places where I like to conceal and highlight. So that'll be under my eyes, my chin, the bridge of my nose, as well as my forehead, just to even everything out under my eyes. And I love it because it's complete full, full coverage. Now to set my under eyes, I'm going to be using my Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette in Incandescent Light. And I absolutely love using this for under my eyes because it's not, I don't need the full coverage because Shape Tape is full coverage. But it's nice and light and of course since it's a luminous powder, it just brings my skin back to life rather than make, making it all flat. Now taking radiant light from the palette, I'm setting the rest of my face, including my jawline and my necks, just so that it blends down a little bit nicer. And I love that the shade is a, is a few shades darker than incandescent because it adds a little extra dimension to my face. Now I'm going to be bronzing up my skin with the beautiful dim light powder from the palette and I'm going to be using that to bronze up my cheeks, my forehead, my jawline, and as well as down my neck to make everything blend better together and I just think it just looks so beautiful and so natural. <laughs>
So now I'm trying out the Milk Chocolate Soleil Bronzer to contour my face and I'm gonna use it where it, as per usual. So my cheeks, the temples of my forehead, my jawline, under my lip. It's a few shades lighter than what I'm used to but I actually quite like it. It still has an effect but it just looks a little bit more natural than what I'm used to. So now I'm going to be taking Highlight 1 from Laura Mercier and I'm going to highlight the regular places. My cheeks, my nose, my chin, my forehead, my cupid's bow. I don't normally go for shades like this, but this is actually really, really nice. I love it. For my blush, I'm going to be going in my Urban K and Gwen Stefani palette, and I'm going to be taking the shade Hush for my cheeks. Now that the face is done, it's time to set it for the first time around, and I'm going to be using my L'Oreal Pro Spray. And set. Now going in with the star of the show, I'm taking my Natasha Denona Joya palette, and I'm taking the shade Fuchsia and putting using a fluffy brush, putting that all in my crease from inner corner to outer corner. And then as I go on, I'm gonna take a smaller blending brush and putting the exact same shade on the outer corner and inner corner of my lid. I first try it out with this brush and then I realize it's not really doing its justice and then I move on to a different blending brush. Now taking red grape from the palette, I'm going to be using a less fluffier brush but a, and I'm going to bring the shade lower in the crease but it's also going to be around the same technique. Blending it from outer corner to inner cor corner of the crease and then I will be taking the same red grape shade and, be, and put it on the outer corner and inner corner of my lid. And I do go in with the same with the same little little blender brush I used before to try to get the color right in there on the lid. I 
do go back with my fluffy brush just to try to blend it out more to make it a little bit more seamless. I try. I try. <laughs> Now taking peach gold from the palette, I'm just going to use my finger and put that all in the empty space in the middle of my lid. And I just think it looks really pretty. <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> Now I'm taking Star of Bronze from the palette and I'm going to put that right on top of Peach Gold for a little extra dimension. Now for my lower lash line I'm going to be taking the shade Fuchsia and blending that all over from inner corner to outer corner of my lower lash line. Now going back in with red grape, I'm going to be putting that on my lower lash line as well, but just with the pencil brush and putting it just a smidge higher. Now going back in with the Laura Mercier Highlighter 1, I'm going to be using that to highlight my inner corner as well as my brow bone. Just for the sake of using all the colors, I'm taking the shade gold from the palette and putting that right in my inner corner on top of the Laura Mercier Highlighter just to make it a little more brighter. Now I'm gonna use my eyelash curler just to prep my lashes for mascara. You know the drill. Now I'm going in with my Lancome mascara primer and I'm only going to be putting that on the tops of my lashes but I'm going to put that in the front and behind my lashes just for extra effect. Now I'm taking the Benefit Roller Lash Mascara and I'm going to be putting that all over my tops and bottom lashes.
For my lips, I'm taking my Nude Sticks Gel Color Lip and Cheek Balm in the shade Pulse and putting that all over my lips without lip liner. Be proud. Now taking my Anastasia Beverly Hills Pro Pencil and Base 2 and putting that on my waterline to open my eyes and make them brighter. Now for my last and final step, I'm going in with my L'Oreal Setting Spray. Well guys, that's it. I really hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did enjoy this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!